Hey guys, my name is Tom Rerick. I'm here at, at Innovative Percussion. Did a facilities tour of uh, some of their great enhancements to their process today. And uh, also really excited to and honored to be here to check out the final version of the FSTR, uh, a new marching stick. currently the percussion arranger for the Bluecoats and have been doing that since in one way shape or form since 2002 so I've been there quite a while. I also write for some marching bands in the fall and work with them uh, in that that time of the year and judge for WGI in the in the winter so it's kind of a year-round activity in that way. My day job is I'm a percussionist in the United States Air Force Band in Washington DC and I'm the section leader of the ceremonial brass um, percussion section. So my influences were, I guess, more like kind of jazz fusion type stuff, you know, like Yellow Jackets and uh, Chick Corea at the time, obviously like Dave Weckl and like listen to those guys kind of growing up um, with that. I, got, I guess I got into the the uh, the mainstream, like Rush and the real, you know, Led Zeppelin, the, that kind of stuff that all drummers know. I got into that like in college or like later in my in my career, but it all kind of, you know, it found its way back to me. It's all part of my influence, I guess. But drum set certainly in, in sense of flow and groove and how that informs music is something that's kind of ingrained in, in how I think about it. When thinking about designing a snare drum stick and what I would want, um, for me it all kind of started with like what it felt like in my hand and around the, the grip area. And that's always been something slightly uh, less diameter than I guess most marching sticks. It still has a lot of uh, uh, enough wood to hold on to but it, it's, it's also comfortable for, I think, for a normal size or a student's hands. Traveling up the stick too, uh, the, the, the taper, we kind of wanted a long taper, so it really has uh, a great sense of feedback and, and uh, response off, off the drum and a quick action that way. So something unique or special probably about the, uh, the, the tip of the stick we considered when designing too is the, the visual demands, the body kind of uh, manipulations that we go through as a performer these days. Well, I don't, but the students do. Um, but the drums aren't flat, you know, it's uh, there's, we hit the drum at a variety of angles and physicalities and different movements and things that are required by, by those parts of the show. So giving us a little bit of forgiveness and flexibility um, that we talked about that pliable kind of um, angle to the design of the stick, I think really plays into the, the modern kind of landscape of what's required of a performer nowadays. I think what we're left with is a stick that has a, has a dark sound quality, a quick response, it has a really palatable feel for the, the, the grip area. So I'm just honored and really proud to um, get this stick out into the marketplace, the FSTR, and, um, and also just continue, obviously, to offer the, 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 the signature line of mallets. And um, it's just been a really fun, long, and um, great collaboration with the folks here at IP. And I uh, just want to say thanks.